All right, so now we're going to uh, get into drawing in Flash, not using any sort of outside artwork. Um, so anything you can draw from your imagination, and you don't want to have to use something like, you know, this uh, Naruto artwork that I got from Google Images or this sketch that uh, somebody drew and scanned in there, you know. You want to just work within Flash completely. So we're going to do that. Before we get started, I wanted to mention, because we're going to be moving fairly quickly uh, in this particular section, you're probably watching this on YouTube. And uh, I just wanted to mention that in YouTube, um, say here's one of my previous videos that I was just, uh, you know, uh, doing. Uh, if you right-click on there and the you have the... Uh, drop down you can click pop out and then you get a window that is just that YouTube window um, just the movie window you can resize it down to something fairly small but something that you can still tell what it is and uh, then resize the flash window a little bit so again you can uh, see everything and it just makes things a little bit uh, quicker as far as working back and forth. Uh, always being able to see the tutorial video up here and uh, still being able to work within Flash. So I just wanted to mention that. Uh, do, a, do a pop out maybe and resize your windows so you can see both the YouTube uh, video in the browser in the background as well as your Flash window. Okay, let's talk about uh, one of these tools to get started with that we haven't talked about before is the rectangle tool. It's the first shape tool that we're going to be talking about. And if you click on your R key on your keyboard, then uh, you get that rectangle tool. I also might mention that there's a thing called the rectangle primitive. You don't need to worry about that right now, but uh, be aware if it's behaving oddly. Uh, a couple things might be going on. One, you might have that rectangle primitive tool. The other thing, if there's something odd with your rectangle, you might check out some of the options in the properties panel over here. Like, for example, there are options for uh, curved uh, corners. So if something, if you start drawing like uh, rectangles with curved corners all of a sudden, Maybe you accidentally slid over the slider there. And oops, that's actually opposite direction. Wanted it zero. Um, so always keep in mind those things. They're primitive. You might accidentally be on the primitive tool. You might accidentally have something set incorrectly in the properties or non default in the properties, anyhow. Okay, so let's draw a rectangle here. Boom, there's a rectangle. Uh, so in this rectangle, you'll see that we have a blue outline and a green inside. And actually, if we take our selection tool, you see that we can drag those apart. And those are actually two different shapes. One is the blue outline. One is the green fill. Okay, I'm gonna do some Command Z's to undo, 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 um, and the uh, the way you get your uh, line color is up here the, to the to the right on the toolbar. It's called the stroke color, and uh, if you hold down on that, you can actually also select to have no stroke color at all. So if I draw a rectangle there. That has no outline color at all. And then opposite, I could uh, select to have no fill color at all, like that. Okay, so that's your rectangle. And then the other one is oval, which is O on your keyboard. And uh, essentially you do the same thing for the oval works the same way, has a fill color, also an outline color, and they're actually independent shapes. 
So um, those are the, the shapes that you can get started with pretty quickly. Um, also, we have the line tool. If you want to draw a perfectly straight line, uh, you can do so with the line tool. If you hold down shift, um, just like in Photoshop, it'll restrict it to 45 degree increments. So you can have a bunch of 45 degree or 90 degree angles happening with that. And that's the line tool. And then the pin tool we've already uh, done a little bit with uh, in, in, in the trace. So those are the main sort of shape creation tools that we have. Okay. Um, nextly, we have a uh, couple of tools to modify the shapes and lines once we've created them. So go ahead and draw a rectangle. Okay. And then grab your selection tool, which is the leftmost tool or the V tool. Okay, and if you, uh, well, actually, oops, what do I want to do here? If you, if you take a look, if you hover over your rectangle with that selection tool on the lines, you'll see that there's this little curved line that appears by your cursor, and that allows you to bend lines in a curvilinear fashion. So bend in and out a couple of lines on your rectangle. Okay, next, if you hold down the uh, option key on your keyboard and click on the line, it adds a point automatically. So hold down the option key and click on a line and add a couple of points. Just experiment with that. Lastly, if you click on any of these lines that are uh, between points, it highlights only that segment of the line. So click on one, one line and hit delete. And you'll see that that clears, that's delete on your keyboard, upper right hand part of the uh, alphabetical keyboard. Um, hit delete there, and you'll see that it deletes some of those lines. If you select the fill color, of course it deletes the fill color. This is all using the selection tool. Okay. Um, another thing with the selection tool, if you select just a chunk of that fill, again, I just took my selection tool and just drug down to select a bit of it, a bit of that fill, and hit delete. Then you can create shapes using negative space using that delete. Okay. So let's see, I think that is all for the selection tool. Um, next we have the sub selection tool, which we've used a little bit already. And the sub selection tool, um, as I said um, in previous videos, allows you to grab the corners, those points, and drag those corners and fine tune them. And also you can grab these handles on the uh, Bezier curves and pull those curves wherever you want. So experiment with that. Do that a little bit. Oops. Remember you can command Z quite a ways back in flash.
also, I, I should probably mention that you can select a point and use the arrows on your keyboard to move that point around. So here, I don't need to use my cursor. I can select a point and use only the arrows on my keyboard to move that point around. Try that. You can hold down shift and move it in a coarse fashion quite quickly. Okay. Um, let's go on to the next selection tool and then we'll uh, kind of end this video here. And that's the free transform tool. So this free transform tool or you hit Q on your keyboard once you have something selected allows us to transform uh, shapes in some pretty um, amazing ways. So I just uh, you know selected the whole thing by clicking on it. If you hover over a corner, you can rotate it. Oh, you know what? And I don't have that selected, so I'm going to do a Command A to select all. Now, like, rotate the whole thing by hovering over a corner. Okay. Uh, you can stretch one direction or the other by hovering over one of the dots in the middle of the rectangle line. And you can scale with hovering over a corner. And I guess I misspoke with the rotation. It's not over a corner, it's just beside a corner. And uh, if you hover beside a line, you can skew the shape back and forth. That's some pretty interesting sort of uh, three-dimensional, quasi-three-dimensional effects like that. Um, also, as far as rotation, if you move this uh, control point someplace, it will uh, then rotate around that point. Okay, and uh, lastly, I guess I should mention if you hold down the, the shift key when you're doing the scale, it maintains those dimensions. So, um, oh, and also if you hold down the shift key when you're doing the rotation, it'll lock to uh, 45 degree increments of rotation. Okay, so the shift key can be kind of useful. Um, okay, I'll throw in one last thing. So hopefully you've, tr you've been trying all this stuff as I've been moving along. Um, I'm going to do a command A to select all. If I hold down the option key with, um, oh, and I've switched back to my selection tool, the V tool. If I hold down the option key and drag, it duplicates shapes and, and, um, well, shapes, duplicates the shape. So holding down the option key can really help you quickly create a pattern of some sort or um, some sort of texture, that sort of thing. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Those were the basic uh, creation tools in Flash. If you weren't following along, um, I'd, I'd recommend maybe going back and doing it again. Um, because really uh, just practicing with these tools is what's going to make them easy for you. So, um, you know, get get the QuickTime video visible, or rather the YouTube video visible, and just kind of like follow along as I'm making these shapes and using these tools. Uh, play with them yourselves. Okay, well, uh, in the next video, we're going to actually kind of start throwing together a character to be animated using these tools.